Hey guys, welcome back to the Sketch Lab. I'm Aaron Randall, and today we're diving into some seriously next level AI tools that just dropped. First up, Topaz Labs just launched something called Bloom. And let me tell you, it's not just a typical AI upscale tool. Bloom uses diffusion based upscaling, meaning it's not just sharpening pixels, it's rebuilding lost details intelligently. Faces, textures, lighting, all feel richer and more photorealistic without that weird AI look. And the best part, it supports 4K and 8K upscaling and works incredibly well on both images and video. Now let's talk about something even crazier. Hey Jen, just dropped Avatar 4 and this one's a total game change for virtual creators. Here's what's new. You can now control gestures just by using prompts. Launch your avatar to point, wave, or fold arms, just describe it. Micro expressions feel human. Subtle eye squints, head nods, to even those little pauses. And get this, script-driven body and hand movements. Your avatar will not just speak the script, it will act it. This is huge for storytellers, educators, and anyone building content without needing a full studio or actor. Okay, enough said. Let's get into it. All right, guys, before we dive into Hey Gen, we need to upscale some of these scenes to give it just a little bit more, more detail to these scenes. So we're gonna utilize Bloom to do just that. All right, guys, so here's the scene that we need to upscale using Bloom. All right, guys, as soon as you upload your image, this will pop up. So on the bottom here, you're gonna notice a, uh, an area where you can enter your prompt, your scaling. Um, you can go to one times, two times, four X, all the way to eight times uh, resolution, which is crazy. Um, you can do one, two, and four outputs. So right now, Bloom is only on the trial basis. It's gonna only allow you to generate 10 images. So on the drop down here, you can adjust the level of creativity. So you have subtle creativity, low creativity, medium creativity, high creativity, and max creativity. Usually I like to get to stay on the low side because I wanted to kind of make sure the image kind of stays true to the original, but just add a little bit more detail. So we're gonna select subtle creativity. Now I've already created a prompt from ChatGPT. So I'm gonna paste it into here where it says optional, describe your image and add creative details. So I'm just gonna so I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into that area. Um, we can do two times scale. And let's just, just do one output. So we're gonna go ahead and process that, okay? All right, the generation is complete. So right now, when you're seeing this before and here's after, you can tell that it's already, wow, look at that. That is just insane. You can just see how sharp it is. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Let's do 100. Okay. Let's stick close. All right. So if I go yeah, before and after. So look that. Look. I mean, just look. I mean, so the previous version, you could tell like the eye here was just darker, um, and it doesn't match with the the one on the the right, the eye on the right. So it just totally matched it, and I mean the. The detail is just insane. The lines are crisp. Um, so this is definitely what I'm looking for. This is what I need here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, download this and then uh, we're gonna get right into HeyGen. All right, so here's HeyGen. So we're gonna go ahead and go into Try Avatar 4. And this little window will pop up and you can go ahead and upload that scene that we just generated with Blow. The window's gonna pop up and you're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and upload the image that we just upscaled with Bloom. So we just uploaded the image and we need dialogue. So I have already created a dialogue with ChatGPT between the this character and the villain. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that into this script field here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there. 
So he says, you've carved a trail of ruin across every district, but what you call evolution looks a lot like extinction. And uh, you can um, select a, uh, there's a voice library, so you can select your voice here. See what they have. Let's uh, see what we have. Hey there, here's how I- Nah, I don't like that one. What? Hey there, here's how I- That's too, that's too deep. Hey there, here's Hey there, here's how I sound yeah, That's too chill Need something a little bit, a little more aggressive Hey there, here's how I sound Uh Hey there, here's how I sound Hope you like it The right That's cool, I like that one Alright, so And then it asks for like custom motion is optional well let's just see what it see what happens without adding uh, any motion instructions and we're gonna do this up to 1080p and let's go ahead and generate all right guys I uh, they finished generating so here let's see what uh, let's see what it came up with you've carved a trail of ruin across every district but what you call evolution looks a lot like extinction Okay, not too bad. Um, I could tell like the hand kind of got distorted there. Teddy. Woo, that's Andy. I better use my strong hand. So, uh, not sure about that, but uh, we're gonna give it a, another try. Maybe I wanna add some um, motion instructions and see, maybe that'll um, that'll improve the, the output of the generation. All right, so I was able to get a prompt, uh, image to video prompt from ChatGPT. And I'm going to go ahead and copy into the custom motion um, field here. Okay, so I'm going to paste it in there. It, and it says enhance prompts. So it says automatically enhances your prompt to improve motion quality. Disabling may cause unstable results while custom motion is in beta. Okay, so we'll go ahead and leave that on. Okay. All right. Also, I have also selected a different voice. It's going to be Casual Chris this time. And... You've carved a trail of ruin across every district, but what you call evolution looks a lot like extinction. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that sounds better. So we'll go ahead and uh, generate that. All right, guys, you see the result. You've carved a trail of ruin across every district, but what you call evolution looks a lot like extinction. That's actually a lot better, but the background is static, so I'm not sure if Agent can animate the background but um i love the uh, the lip syncing and a little bit of movement of his uh, hands i see it's like a little bit of uh, his chest move while he was breathing so that's kind of that's kind of cool so i like that i'm gonna try another scene with the gorbex monster character that i created using my own voice so let's see how that how that looks all right so i've uploaded my voice that re sounded ridiculous. <laughs> I'm recording myself on the phone. It sounded pretty ridiculous, but hey, let's see what happens here, all right? So let's check this out. Extinction is evolution. Weak systems fall. Nature doesn't negotiate. It resets. I'm the reset. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I mean, again, I wish there was just a little bit more motion to the background. It kind of just feel a little static, but I might have to do add, um, add some camera motion in post. So that's what, what I might have to do, but, uh, let's give it, uh, let's try another scene. All right. So here is another scene. Let's see how this sounds. You talk about nature like you're above it, but you're not a force of nature, Gorvex. You're a parasite clinging to collapse. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like the head turn, and uh, yeah, all right. So this is pretty cool, man. Um, all right, guys, so I put all the scenes together, and uh, let me know what you think. Just me again. Before I show you the, um, the finished product, uh, I wanted to tell you that I actually decided to um, create the animations with uh, Runaway. Um, it just, the, the motion from Hey Jen, uh, was I wasn't too happy with so I decided to use runway okay so I just wanted to show you that um, you know there's tools that are just better 
add some things in others. So uh, go ahead and uh, enjoy the finished product. You've carved a trail of ruin across every district, but what you call evolution looks a lot like extinction. And you're clinging to delusions of control. You think that armor makes you a savior? You're just a man hiding behind tech in guilt. You talk about nature like you're above it, but you're not a force of nature, Gorvex. You're a parasite clinging to collapse. Enough talking, Zero. I'm a sworn protector of Earth. This is your judgment day, Gorvex. Will Zero's newfound power be enough to bring down the ruthless Gorvex? Or has our hero reached the end of his limits? The battle rages on. Tune in to the next exciting episode of... Vendor Zero. That came out pretty cool. So I hope you guys like it. Please leave your questions and comments in the description. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, until next time.